All right, well, thanks everyone for joining us for this second session on stage one at the BIM Coordinator Summit. In just a second, we're gonna have Clive Jordan come up from Plannerly. Um, Clive and I have been connected for some time. We got on a phone call recently. I've been promoting the idea of BIM execution plans and GIS being added to BIM execution plans, so I think that uh, Clive is gonna have some great content. Omar and I connected yesterday. He's got uh, some brilliant content to share. I love his, his, his energy and his approach. Nigel Davis from Evolve Consultancy. And then finally, we'll have uh, Swapnil Joshi, who we've been speaking this morning. You know, I spoke earlier on this topic. I'm not going to take too much time because we're a little bit behind schedule here, but this idea of the importance of location in designing, planning, constructing, operating our facilities is somewhat overlooked. The idea that location is so critical in the work that we do, but yet it's overlooked. It's not part of our CAD systems. It's not part of our BIM systems. We don't start out with an answer and question and querying of the context of the project that we're beginning in. And that's an oversight that I think that we need to address. Esri certainly is trying to step up there. Our interest and investment and excitement about the construction industry in particular is, is new to us, but is growing rapidly. We're finding out that location, when applied to the resources, the materials, the equipment, the methodology of construction, when you apply location, when you use location information in your AEC workflows, you're more likely to understand your status. You're more likely to get ahead of deadlines, cost overruns, site and safety issues than you would if you were not using location in that workflows. The idea of scheduling and planning without location seems like just an absolute error, a mistake. How and why would you schedule resources, materials, people in an unsafe environment that construction can be if you weren't considering location? How can you think about delivering your project and eventually handing over that project to an owner who must consider their location, must consider their context, wants to utilize their digital information to complement their physical structure if location isn't considered? Construction is site-based. Construction occurs at a very specific location, and the details of construction are location-based. But yet, very often, the data that's collected, the methodologies of construction, don't really take location into account. And if they do, it's location based on 000 being the corner of the building, not the location based on a bigger context. And certainly, supply chain, logistics, getting your people where they need to be, getting the materials there at the right time in the right location. Those are critical aspects of construction that have been challenged more so in the last few years than ever before because of all the broader supply chain challenges. And GIS, location, is a great solution to solve those problems. I've just got a couple of projects that I'm going to show here. This is one by an uh, AEC firm based out of the U.S. called HNTB. They're a 100-year-old bridge design and engineering and construction company. This is a project that they've built recently that is truly a digital twin for construction management bringing together BIM and GIS. So a combination of Autodesk, BIM, Bentley, BIM, brought into an Esri environment in a product that we recently worked on together with Autodesk called ArcGIS GeoBIM, which takes the GIS information, connects to the BIM information, in this case, the Esri ArcGIS online environment with the Autodesk Construction Cloud environment. And in this particular example, you can see BIM-like functionality in a GIS application slicing 3D models, exploring the attributes and properties of those 3D models. And this particular example, as we zoom out, you actually can kind of see on the lower left corner there, that little blue column doesn't look like a piece of built structure. That's actually a 3D representation of seismic activity on this bridge in real time. This bridge has IoT sensors that are recording temperature, humidity, and seismic activity so that as the bridge is being built, well, it looks like we got a couple layers going on here. There actually is a dashboard that should be showing up on the screen there indicating the seismic activity of construction occurring next door to this 100-year-old bridge that's about to be replaced. Here's another example of GIS, BIM, and in this case, Primavera content, scheduling content brought together. You know, the, the idea of scheduling a project, in, in, much less multiple projects, or projects that have a linear element to them, whether that might be transmission lines or roadways or light rail, and not considering location, again, feels like an error. So what we've done is we've paired up with Oracle. We're now connecting to Oracle P6 and location-enabling scheduling and planning. 
every element of that work breakdown structure can have an XYZ coordinate or a physical real world coordinate associated with it. You can then track your progress out in the field using your mobile device indicating status that feeds into your P6 system and also is represented in a dashboard with maps. So location based scheduling is enabled now by combining GIS and traditional scheduling tools. Another element of location importance for, for construction management. You know, Esri acquired a, a solution called SiteScan some years ago that allows for the planning, the actual execution of, and the analysis of reality capture through drones for construction sites. That data then becomes archivable in a GIS environment, which can then be delivered through web dashboards, web environments, so that the entire project team can not only understand the status of the project currently, but this information then becomes available through a digital twin environment so that one can peel back the layers and see the status of their project at any given point in time historically, but also understand the various layers of their project in real time before they start doing any further construction in the future. This is an interesting project from a, a small company, about 15 to 20 people based out of Massachusetts, who go out on projects, they do reality capture, they scan, they convert the scan into Revit content, then they bring that Revit content into ArcGIS Pro, which is Esri's flagship desktop product. We bring in Revit files, we bring in IFC files, we bring in CAD content, we bring in point clouds, all types of content. But in this example, you can see the BIM model in the GIS environment, and from that BIM environment, you can click on the attributes as you would be able to do in most BIM tools. But what this company has done, they've kind of taken it a step further. They've taken their BIM in GIS, brought it out onto a dashboard, and are doing augmented reality on iPads, asset management, facilities management, understanding context through the data that they created through these BIM and GIS workflows. So the ability to understand your assets, understand your existing conditions before you start constructing, start replacing anything. And again, this is a 15-person company hitting way above their, their, their weight, if you will. This is a great project. This was put together by one of our product managers who formerly was with Mott McDonald. He took the BIM content of one of the projects on Esri's campus and built out a dashboard that includes the overview of the project itself, safety inspection dashboard, uh, stakeholder engagements, reality mesh uh, models, SharePoint documents embedded within, and within a single dashboard, a complete project management environment for construction, combining GIS and BIM and P6 schedule information, reality capture, so that the entire team is kept up to date, well informed through a web browser, again, using the tools, using the technologies that are available pretty much off the shelf. And to pick up on kind of what Lewis Watts from Autodesk talked about earlier, the aviation industry and its importance, um, you know, reliance on location. Here we've got San Francisco Airport who have built out a complete, they don't like to use the word digital twin themselves, but it certainly is. They've got all of their CAD data, all of their BIM information, all their leaseback data, all of their safety and security information, wayfinding accessible through, in this case, there's a G multiple GIS dashboards, all pulling from the same data source delivering value to the locksmiths, delivering value to the FAA who needs to understand safety uh, conditions, to the tenants at the airport who want to understand where there might be spaces available for them to expand or move or add another uh, uh, store or environment. All of the utilities of the airport available, all within these single dashboards bringing G GIS and BIM together to improve operations, improve uh, productivity to improve insights of all of the stakeholders, in this case, of the airport. So just with those few examples, I just wanted to kind of plant a few seeds of the ideas of GIS being an enabler of BIM, um, BIM and GIS coming together to deliver more value to the AEC industry in general. And at this point, I'm going to be glad to introduce Clive Jordan from Plannerly. Like I said, he and I have been connected for some time. I've really admired the work he's been doing to standardize, to um, help inform project teams through, through his, his product and his company, Plannerly. So at this point, I'll uh, let Clive...